Hello everybody. This is Bui from Mama Bui's Kitchen. I hope you are having a great day. Today guys, we're going to do our last two dishes from the five we picked at our local Chinese restaurant. We are going to be making sweet and sour sauce and crab rangoon. Guys, the crab rangoon is so easy to make at home and tastes better than takeout. And with the sweet and sour sauce, there are so many ways to enjoy this popular and versatile sauce. So guys, let's get started. You know Mama we doesn't like to waste time. In a small saucepan, add ketchup, white sugar, you can use brown sugar guys. We're going to also add in rice wine vinegar. We're going to add some water and a pinch of salt. Then we're going to head to the stove. Over medium high heat, bring to a boil. Cook on simmer for another minute or until thickened and your sauce is ready. We're going to set that aside, then move on to make the crab rangoon. Start by prepping the ingredients you're going to use for the crab rangoon. Cut green onions, then set aside. The next ingredient, guys, we're going to use is the crab imitation meat. We're going to cut that into small pieces. We are also going to use room temperature cream cheese, guys. Just be sure your cream cheese is nice and soft to blend well with everything else. Now let's put the filling together. I like to cream my cream cheese using a spoon or a handheld mixer so that it can be easier to blend everything together. Then we're going to add the crab meat along with the green onions. We're going to also add in garlic, Worcestershire sauce. Then we're going to Give it a good mix until everything is well blended. This looks good. Now we're going to fill our wonton wrappers. There are so many ways, guys, to fold wontons. I'm going to show you about two folds we're gonna start with an envelope fold place one teaspoon of filling in the middle of each then dip your fingers in the water and moisten the edges fold in half wet the two lower corners of the wonton wrapper seal the two corners there you have it the envelope wonton next i'm gonna show you the star wonton Place one teaspoon in the middle of each, then dip your fingers in the water and motion the sides. Then you're going to bring all the four corners together and seal the edges. Guys, I forgot to mention that cover any wanton wrappers that you are not actively folding with a dish towel as they dry out quickly. I know guys, I didn't cover mine. As soon as I finish showing this, I know I can finish the ones that I have so fast. So I'm going to show you the method that I prefer is fast and easy. Dip your fingers in the water and moisten the edges all around the wonton. Then place one teaspoon of filling in the middle, fold in half to make a triangle then pinch with your fingers near the filling and seal the side corners. 
That's the triangular fold. Repeat the same process until you have done all your wontons. I'm doing slowly here guys so you can see what I'm doing. Once all the wontons are done, now we're going to head to the stove to fry them. In a saucepan over medium-high heat, heat about one and a half inch layer of oil. You can use vegetable oil or grapeseed oil. In small batches, fry wontons for one minute until they are golden brown. Once they are browned, remove and place on a cooling rack or a plate lined with paper towels. Repeat this until you have done all your wontons. There you have it guys. These wontons are light, airy, creamy, and delicious. The sauce is warm, tangy, sweet. It balances everything. Serve with your favorite sauce. Some people prefer dark sauce. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If it's your first time here, welcome to Mama Wee's Kitchen. Please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Share this video with your friends and your family and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye. Honey for my honey. Bye, my honey.